Hello, this is going to be a tutorial on how to solve a pair of morphings. If you don't know what a pair of morphings is, I would suggest going to my channel and looking up the unboxing and review video, and that will explain a little bit more um, about what the pair of morphings is. Also, it has information on where you can buy it and things of that nature. So basically, what the pair of morphings is, is it is a 2 by 2 Now, if you know how to solve a 2 by 2 you should be able to solve the pyramid morphings. Um, so, what I'm going to suggest that you guys do is um, try to solve it on your own and pretend that you're solving a 2x2. Two two. So, think of it like this. Think of it like this. So, so you have 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. You flip it over. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So think of the pieces kind of like that. So like that little plus right there is right here, like that. You know, just kind of try to solve it the way you would a 2x2, two two, and you might be able to do it. You might not need this tutorial. But just in case, I will go ahead and show you how to solve it. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, you do need to know how to solve a 2x2. Two in order to solve the pyramorphings. And I don't really want to teach you how to solve a 2x2, two two, so um, if you don't know how to solve a 2x2, two two, I'm sorry. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Let's scramble up the pyramorphics. Okay, now that the uh, pyramorphings is scrambled up, I'm going to scramble the Ishin 2x2 also and kind of solve them simultaneously so you can see how the 2x2 two two relates to the pyramorphings. Okay, I think that's good. Um, they're both scrambled now, so let's go ahead and start to solve them. Now, the first step when you solve a 2x2, two two, at least the way that I do it, is to get a solid layer, in this case the white layer, and you can see that all these other ones are matched up. So we're going to do that same thing on the pyramorphings. So the only difference is, is that instead of having a solid white color, you're going to have kind of a double color, so two different colors. I like to start with the yellow and blue um, piece. And what I do is I get the yellow and blue corner, um, which is this piece and the way I'm going to be relating to these pieces is technically they're all corner pieces just like the 2x2 two two, but I'm going to be calling these corner pieces and these center triangles okay so take one of your corner pieces that has um, blue and yellow and find the center triangles that match up with it so this one matches go ahead and pair it up just like that and this one also matches and pair it up like that Okay, so that shouldn't be too difficult getting three of them. Now the last one is, again, we need the yellow and blue. And so the last one is right here. This is the last one. Now, for a 2x2, two two, if you are trying to get the last piece, you have three of them, and you're trying to get the last piece, what you do is you bring up the bad piece and swap it out with the good piece and then rotate it back down. So that's the same thing we're going to do on the pure morphings. So here's the um, piece that we're trying to move. And what you have to do is, is you have to take, um, first of all, you need to think of it like a 2x2. Two two. So think of it kind of like this. So you see this little um, plus right there? Think of that as that plus. Now what you have to do for this in order to get the colors to match up, if I do it like this, the colors are going to be backwards. See, it's not oriented correctly. So what you need to do is look and see which color is facing downwards. In this case, it's yellow. So I want the yellow to not be matched up here. I want it to be matched up with the opposite one, which is the blue. That way, when I pull it up, it pairs it like that, and then I rotate it back down. And I have the four colors, just like on the 2x2. Two two. So now the next step in the 2x2 two two is to orient the top. Um, there are different ways to do this, but um, just whichever way you use, again, think of it like a 2x2. Two two. So, um, in this case, here's my base. I'm going to go ahead and look and see w which of these two corners is oriented. These um, center triangles are always oriented, so you don't need to worry about them. So, let's see. This one needs to have blue, and this one needs to have yellow. So, 
that blue is not facing downward and that yellow is not facing downward so neither one of them is facing the right way so what we're gonna do is we need to flip both of them so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one of the center triangles down here and I'm gonna do soon and that will orient these two so I'm gonna do the soon pattern like that and you'll see that that oriented the blue piece right there and it also oriented the yellow piece right there now you might have to do um, different orientations you might want to do soon or anti soon most of the time I just use soon um, it's a little challenging to see which pieces or which way the pieces are oriented so most of the time I just use soon until it orients all the pieces but if you're good enough at OLL um, you can use your standard OLL cases from the 2 by 2 otherwise just keep doing soon with a solved piece um, if you have at least one solved corner use that as your soon not the center triangle but if both of these aren't solved then use one of the center triangles and do soon okay so now that we have all of our pieces oriented just like the 2 by 2 the last step is to permute them so you'll see we have a pair here and we put the pair on the left and then we do the algorithm to solve it and I will post that algorithm on the side along with the soon algorithm um, and that will flip these two pieces so we go to our permorphings and we say okay which two pieces are paired up well right here we have an orange pair so you'll see that this triangle is matched up, the corner, and the center triangle is matched up. So all we need to do is flip these two like that. So we're going to do the algorithm. And it's a little harder to do the finger tricks, but you can still do it. And there you go. It's solved. Really, if you can solve the 2x2, two two, the pyramorphic isn't that different. Now, sometimes um, this might happen to you. Um, let me go ahead and set it up here. And this happens to a lot of puzzles with pieces that don't or orient. You'll notice that like every single one of these pieces is oriented except one piece. And you'll be like, well, that's not possible because if you take like a regular cube, it's impossible to have like one piece that's unoriented. You know, that's not possible. But what you're forgetting is that these pieces technically they're oriented but if you rotate them in any way they're not going to be affected at all so what you can do is is you can do this is what I was talking about earlier you can do soon with the solved piece in the right spot and what will happen is it'll twist this corner it'll twist this piece and it'll twist this piece but it's not gonna unorient these because they don't have an orientation they're always oriented um, in this situation I'm going to go ahead and do anti soon and what you'll notice that it oriented the, the piece correctly and technically it rotated this triangle and it rotated this triangle but since these two triangles don't have an orientation it doesn't matter that I um, rotated them um, it, they went ahead and solved themselves anyway so that's how to solve the pyramorphings I hope the tutorial helped really if you know how to solve a 2 by 2 try to solve the pyramorphings on your own and if you can't um, use this video I didn't really go into too much detail um, because it's not that challenging of a puzzle as long as you know how to solve a 2x2. Two two. Um, if you have any questions, because I know this video was kind of fast, um, I didn't really go in detail, but if you have a question, feel free to post a comment below and I will help you um, as best I can. I wouldn't mind answering any questions that you guys have. Um, if you like the video, um, please go to my channel and look at some of my other videos or subscribe to my channel. I have a bunch of cubing videos, so I'm sure you'll find something that you like. And if you want more information on the Pure Morphings, go to the unboxing and review video that I have on my channel for this puzzle. Alright, well thanks for watching guys. I hope the tutorial helped, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.